It's very important that scholarship be broadened and expanded to better understand Latino communities and their future role in the United States. That means we need more scholars. Um, we have a tremendous challenge of increasing the pipeline of high school graduates who go to college, who then decide to get graduate degrees, who then decide to become researchers, whether they're university-based or community-based. You need advanced training, so they need to get their advanced degrees, get the expertise to do the research. There's a need to expand that as much as possible, but there's also a need to encourage those of us who are scholars and university-based to make sure that our work speaks to the reality that our communities confront. So we have to hold our research to a higher standard. We, don't only, we, we cannot just hold it to the traditional standard of, is it accepted by your peers? Is it published by a, by a prominent university press or prestigious journal? We have to do that too. But in addition to that, we have to decide whether or not our work also speaks to issues that are directly related to our communities. So we have to be more inclusive in conceptualizing our research than many university-based scholars, and certainly than, um, compared to the way I was taught, than many university-based scholars are taught to think and do their research. If we don't do that, we take a great risk that the scholarship that we produce and all of the resources that have been invested in helping scholars advance only serve the scholars and don't serve the community as well. That's a price that the Latino community cannot afford to pay.